I wish there was two of these. But he's only 50 cents, so I'm gonna get him, even though there's only one. Hey guys, my name is Missy, and I'm a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved. I am back with another quick picking video for you guys today. Um, sorry about the shadow on my face. The sun is getting ready to set and go down, get dark, and it's only 421. It's nuts. But anyways, I had to come over to Pella to pick up a Christmas gift. So why not stop at the thrift store real quick, right? Let's go inside and see what we can find. I'm really not in the mood to look at Christmas. So, moving on. Oh, these are cute. But it doesn't. Yeah, you would. 
There was two of these, but he's only hit decent, so I'm gonna get him, even though there's only one. For fifty cents. You're okay. I absolutely love this and I would have got it, but I just can see this crack. It's hand painted in the pond. It's sad, it comes, it's like a chocolate pot in little cups or a teapot, whatever, but it's cute. But I can't get it because it's cracked. That's cute, but I don't know if tiles do good. He's cute. And I don't think it's chipped or cracked anywhere. Perfect defense. spice jars and it's only three dollars yay so that is gonna hop in my cart too much 
much stuff here. <laughs> Look at the llama. Wow, look at this coffee table. This is really pretty. seeing anything else. All right, guys, stay tuned for the haul video. Okay, guys, we are back from the thrift store, and here is the haul. I spent a total of only $8.50, so not bad at all. Um, I, I got there late. We had to go over to Pella, like I said, and buy a Christmas present. Um, so, I just found a few little things, but anyways, $8.50, not bad. And then after this haul video, I'm going to show you the haul that I did, um, that I got a couple days ago at the Almost Free Shop. Like I said, I don't like recording in there. I just feel weird. It's, I don't know why. It, it's the town I live in and um, it's always full of people and it's it would be hard to record without filming everybody in there so anyways okay here's the haul from bibles for mission okay this i got and it was only one dollar and it's the feather art and it signed and i think it's cute and it's just wicker and wood and this is glass glass behind it it's got this sticker on it, and I just think it's cute. I like the feather art. I believe this is made in Mexico. I believe. I could be wrong, but I've had them before and sold them, and they were made in Mexico, so. Okay, then I got this, and I love this. It, it's just perfect for Christmas time. A little Christmas de um, decoration. You could put like succulents or red bulbs or anything in there. I mean, it's cute. I like it. There's no chips or cracks. And it was only 50 cents. I don't think it has any marks. No, no marks. But yes, only 50 cents. I think it's cute. Then... I got this owl. I love this owl. It's like the hard styrofoam. And it was only 50 cents. And originally he would have had a pair. He would have had a mate to go with him. There would have been two of them. But he was the only one there. And I couldn't leave him behind for 50 cents. And actually I believe I have a bunch of owls downstairs. Um, that I need to get listed. And I can list that one with it. So... 
Okay, then I got this, and I like this. And this is like painted milk glass, and I really like it. I like the paint job on it. I like the red around the rim, and it's pretty, and it was only 50 cents, and no chips or cracks. It's really pretty. I really like it a lot. I think it's cute. I mean, there's a little bit of paint wear around the edge, but no chips or cracks at all, so. It's very pretty. And then I got these two. I'm hoping. They're very delicate, so I'm trying to be careful with these. Oh, I didn't even notice that one was... I didn't think that was broken. Hold on a second. Because I was pretty sure... I don't know. It's not in here. So maybe it was already like that. Okay, anyways. I guess I don't really care because it's the stopper part. But Actually, I think this one goes on... This one, nope, that was right. I got these. Sorry that took me so long, guys. Um, they're, I believe they're vintage perfume bottles is what I thought that they were. The, they are super thin. The glass is very, very thin. And they do have their glass. These are both glass. But what I was talking about is this one is... Can you see how it's been chipped? How it's curved and this one's not. So, but they are glass. They're very, very, very pretty. And like I said, they're really thin. And they were only a dollar a piece. But they're gorgeous. Aren't they so pretty? I think they're very pretty. I like them. For a dollar a piece. So two bucks. Not bad. Then, I got this vintage Tupperware for a dollar. Now, I always pick up vintage Tupperware if it's cheap um, because I can sell it in lots together and it sells pretty quickly. So, this one, it did have a starburst and this is would have been a canister set. There would have been four of these, but there was only one at the, at the thrift shop. So, I picked it up anyways because it was only a dollar. So I have a bunch. I actually went to the bins today, so stay tuned for that video. Um, and picked up a couple other Tupperware pieces. So, but yeah, I like it for a dollar. Not bad. And then the last thing that I got there. Oh, it's heavy. Ugh, is this. Spice rack set. Oh, oh my goodness, that was close. Did you see that, you guys? <laughs> I just about did it again. Okay, it's got little drawers. And then all the jars are in here. And I mean, it would have been better if I would have had all the labels turned, huh? I love these little spice jars. They remind me of like little apothecary jars. Oh, I guess that one don't have its label. And some of these labels, it looks like have been replaced, but here we go. Sorry guys. But I think it's cute. I really like it. It's vintage spice rack, wood spice rack for three bucks. And it does have hooks on the back, so if you wanted to, you could hang it on the wall. But I like it. I think it's pretty cool. So, $1. All right, that was everything that I got there. So now I'm going to show you guys um, my little haul from the Almost Free Shop. 
Okay guys, I'm getting ready to go into the almost free shop and I don't know if you can see through the vehicles, but there is a line of people standing at the doorway to get in. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people so far. So that's why I don't like to record because it's a small little store, but you'll see my haul. Okay guys, I spent a total of $14.50. So not bad at all, and I will show you everything I got from the almost free shop. So $14.50. The first thing I got was this vintage glass jar with the metal lid, the red metal lid, and it was only 50 cents. Not bad at all, I like it. I have a yellow one, um, or I mean a jar exactly like this with a yellow lid, a vintage one. So I might keep this or I might um, just sell them purge it and sell them as a pair. I don't know, but I really like it. And for 50 cents, not bad. And this was also 50 cents. It's a metal, a tin metal can. Um, the saltine crackers or the Nabisco. And I mean, it's in pretty good shape. It's a little dirty on the inside, but not too bad. I thought it was cool for 50 cents. I mean, you don't see these very often in antique shops and stuff, I guess. But if it would have been more than 50 cents, I wouldn't have picked it up because it's just not my thing. But for 50 cents, how could I leave it behind? Then I got this and it's brand new. Look at that cute giraffe. Oh my goodness. And it's brand new. Only 75 cents. And I could not leave that behind. Somebody's going to want that as a Christmas gift. That would be a cute little Christmas gift. So, awesome. And it is the Wonder Treats. The Wonder Treats is the brand on that. Then I got this. And it is a porcelain Christmas train set. The Santa Express. And it is cute. I haven't took it out of the box. And I'm not going to take it out of the box. Because it's all wrapped up in bubble wrap. As you can see. So before I list it. Um, I will take it out of the box. And show it in the pictures without the box. So I'm pretty sure it's fine. No chips or cracks. or Because the ladies probably inspected it. But it was only a dollar. One dollar, cute. I just think it's adorable. I like it. Then I got this vintage tree topper, still in the box. I'll take it out so you guys can see it real quick because I already did. Take it out. I like it. I just really like it. And this one's just all silver. It's just a tree topper. Instead of a star, you could have this pretty thing. I like it. All right, and let's put it back in its original box. It's always nice when they come in their original boxes, isn't it? I'm always happy to find them like that. So. I don't know about you guys. Some things it really doesn't matter, but I thought it was pretty cool. All right, then I got this one still in the box. And this one was a dollar. That one was 75 cents. This one was a dollar. I was trying to see if I could find a date. This it says it's made in Romania. And this glass one. And this one's painted. It's clear glass, but it's painted. I like it. I think it's cute and adorable. I love these glass tree toppers. I think they're awesome. Especially when they come in the boxes. So for $1, not bad at all. 
Then I got the set of vintage sheets. And these look to be like brand new. Like they were just taken out of the package. That's how they feel. They feel stiff. You know how when new sheets feel a little bit stiff? And they were $4 for this. And it's a full size. Um, they're full size. And there's one fitted and one flat. But like I said, they're like brand new. And they're vintage. I love them. Okay, let me see. There. Then the last thing I got, and this is pretty cool. Some of you might not think so, but I think it is. It is a vintage Adidas. Outfit. It's got the pants and it's like the windbreaker outfit. It's like a windbreaker outfit. And it's size large. It's a men's size large. So it's a pretty good size. I don't know if it's wanting to focus very well or not, but. Yeah. Six bucks. So I'm probably going to get that listed on eBay. I have a few other ones I need to get listed too, but I just think that's cool. Oops, I dropped it. Size large. Adidas jacket and pants. It's, I like it. Not too bad for six bucks. So, yeah, not too bad for, I got all that stuff for $14.50. So... I should just make all my money back off of just one of the tree toppers. The outfit's going to be a big profit, so that'll be nice. Okay. So that was it. Like I said a little bit ago, I went to the bins today, so stay tuned for that video. Um, if you like these type of videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Just hit the bell button, and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Um... I, it's winter now, so I'm not posting as much, but I'm going to try to post as much as possible. Um, if you're interested in anything I find, feel free to send me a message. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, eBay, Etsy, Macari, and I post most of my stuff on Facebook Marketplace and eBay for sale. I do a little bit on Etsy as well, so, um, if you see something that's not listed, feel free to send me a message. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.